Hello, welcome to this lesson. Our topic for today is family size. So yes, we'll be looking at family size today. What is the meaning of a family? A family can be described or uh, defined as a group consisting of parents and children living together in a household. Yes, we can also say family is can be de defined as a group of people who are related by blood, marriage, or adoption. There are types of family, and we have the small family, which we can also call the nuclear family, and the large family, which we can also call the extended family. Now let's go further. What is a small family? A small family is a group of people related by blood ties, comprising the father, mother, and very few children. So that is a, fam a small family. Father, mother, and few children. Maybe one, two, or three, or four, or so on. So that is a small family. What are the characteristics of a small family? Now, the characteristics of a small family is that, number one, it is made up of few members of people, just few. Like we said in the beginning, father, mother, and few children. So that is one of the characteristics. Then secondly, it has less dependent children. So there are few children who depend on their parents in a small family. Then number three, it is mainly nuclear in nature. Mainly nuclear in nature. That means it is just father, mother, and few children. Then number four, it can be less stressful and exhausting. Yeah, mommy just have to take care of maybe two children. Daddy have to pay school fees for just two children. You see, it is less stressful and exhausting. Now let's move over to the benefits or consequences of a small family. The benefits or consequences of a small family. Number one, it improves the quality of life. Yes, everybody tends to live well in a small family. Now, two, secondly, it helps to manage resources well. Resources well. So daddy works and bring money home. They use money to buy food stuff, to pay school fees. You will see that the money will be enough to be able to cater for the needs of the family. Then, thirdly, each child receives more parental attention. Every child in a small family gets parental attention. Yes, the mommy and daddy can give attention to each child because they are few. Imagine, uh, for example, a classroom where there are 100 students with just one teacher. It will be very difficult to control. But if there are just few, let's say 10, 20, the teacher will be able to manage the class. So also is a family. When the family is small, the child, each child receive more parental attention. So that is all for small family. Let's go over to the large family. A large family is a family which consists of a nuclear family with blood relatives. Yes, a large family consists of nuclear family with blood relatives. When we say blood relatives, we're talking about grandma, talking about grandpa, talk about uncles, aunties, nephew, niece, cousin, all these are blood relatives. Their nuclear family, like Roddy Lund, his father, mother, and few children. So this is a large family. Then what are the characteristics of a large family? Well, let's see the characteristics of a large family. Number one, it is made up of many people. Yeah, a large family is made up of many people. You can see father, daddy, mommy, children, grandma, grandpa, uncles, aunties, many people. Then number two, it is mainly extended in nature. When we say extended in nature, we talk about it includes the nuclear family, nuclear family members and blood relatives so it is extended that's why it's called a large family then number three they have more dependent children 
Yes, more dependent children in a large family. Then, what are the benefits or consequences of a large family? Number one, there may be a fall in moral values. When a family is so large, the parent may not be able to cater for all the children by teaching them good morals. So there may be a fall in moral values. Then secondly, there may be problem of high illiteracy. Imagine a family, or uh, a family that has many children or many people to cater for to build. And now, the, let's say a father and a mother who gives birth to twenty children. <laughs> you see that he may not be able to send all of them to school, so that may lead to a high illiteracy problem in the society. Then also, it may lead to overcrowding and easy spread of disease. Yes. Let's say um, this disease called measles or chicken pox. You can say where there is so many persons and one person is infected with it, it may begin to spread. Then another one is that it can lead to increase in population. All right. So these are the consequences of a large family then let's go you need to understand that nobody can live in isolation because everyone has a position and a role to play in the family yes daddy and mommy have their role to play in the family in the home you also as a child you have a role to play in the home i believe you've learned something about family size Thank you for listening. We learned about the family. No family means we have two types of family, the small and large family. And we talked about their benefits and their consequences. Do have a lovely time. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.